many of his disciples forsook and deserted the Lord. Very simply because following Christ would be at a great cost or expectation. Today's Gospel presents the last part of the discourse on the bread of life. Jesus' teaching about himself as the bread of life was difficult to accept and understand. The words of Jesus caused a split among his followers. There were two responses to the Lord's message. First was comprised of those who turn against him and no longer follow him. Second was Peter's confession of faith on behalf of the other apostles. Many of his disciples forsook and deserted the Lord, very simply because following Christ would be at a great cost or expectation. It involved a lot of complications. It involved the cross, which meant complete denial of oneself. Jesus' teaching revealed that He is the Lord and the very Son of God and demanded one's complete allegiance, self-denial and total surrender to Him. Some just could not receive and accept this as a fact and a reality. They walked away. When many of the disciples rejected Him, then Jesus had asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? The words of Jesus provoked a great act of faith from Peter. Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. Peter was the disciple who believed that Jesus was the Lord and spoke on behalf of all the other apostles. His answer was full of trust. He had surrendered himself to Christ. Peter may not have understood the full import of what Jesus was saying, but he knew the essential, that is, Christ has the words of eternal life. To follow him is to walk in faith and also to know that the other would-be bearers of truth can never satisfy us. It is to say, whatever happens, Jesus has the words of eternal life. Jesus' message is both revolutionary and challenging and through it, he wants us to respond to him. What is my response? Do I wish to go away like many of his disciples? Or do I wish to stay with him in faith like Peter and the other apostles?